apologize that we're late. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if it could, be, could remain standing as we always do and remember uh, our men and women in the armed forces uh, here and abroad, if we can remember for a moment Senator John McCain, for which over the weekend, I, probably the first time and maybe the only time I flew the Navy flag. And with 9-11 approaching, whatever that might mean to everyone as far as what happened that day and the people we lost. Um, I want to say uh, this, it ha which happened at the last meeting. Uh, so we're on camera right now, correct? We're on TV. And uh, last meeting, I don't know how much into the meeting, but it went blank. The picture and the voice. Uh, I was told maybe for 20 minutes something and then it came back on. Uh, but that's not obviously the way it's supposed to work. So the next day we called Time Warner. This is two weeks ago. Time Warner has given us three different dates that they did not keep that appointment, those appointments. And so it, we think it's wires. And so we're being very careful tonight in not touching certain wires and hopefully we won't disturb the picture. Um, but I do apologize for the last meeting that the uh, that it went out, and we are in the process of getting it fixed. Um, okay. Is there any uh, comment on any of the agenda items? Yes. If it's on an, on an agenda item. Agenda item, right. I want to speak briefly, uh, very quickly. Uh, the, the mayor and the board have recognized uh, water supply is one of the most vital parts of our community. And uh, for those who don't understand, we have a surface water supply. So Bog Meadow up on top of Black Rock Mountain uh, is our water supply, 40, 50 acres. It has to flow all the way down uh, along 218 and then 293 up past the golf course and then along the road where it's subject to spills, which we, uh, the High Point Utility, the local nonprofit warren could be a problem and should be someday enclosed in a pipe to protect it. That happened quickly afterwards, uh, not about a month and a half after we mentioned that, we got 1,600 gallons of uh, oil, and if we hadn't had West Point to back us up, we would have been on bottled water there for about, uh, about three weeks. So we've now got a shot with about a million dollars to enclose it, and uh, we, High Point U2 is going to support the village board in doing this. It's a real opportunity, but it has to be in the next week, so this is the last chance, and I'd like to uh, commend the board and the mayor for uh, picking up on this. Thank you. Thank you, John. A couple of comments uh, before we get to the end of the meeting, where I'll have a few more, but um, did someone come in? Um, I would like to congratulate uh, Maddie Salvini. Uh, a lot of us uh, old timers here in the community know who she is. I think she's lived forever on Readout Street. 
And uh, next Friday, September the 14th, she'll be inducted into the Army Sports Hall of Fame. And rightfully so. But just for a moment, what I want to speak about is what she's given to this community over and above her time at West Point. And she had a lot of years at West Point. So Maddie um, uh, was always there for children, for anyone. But in particular, the children. She was very much and still is very much into sports. Obviously, that's why she's being inducted into the sports, Army Sports Hall of Fame. But uh, she's worked with decades, four decades, and then uh, with children, uh, in particular with basketball. And so we want to say thank you to her. The board wants to say thank you on behalf of the community for all that she's given to the uh, young people of this community. And again, it stretches over decades, uh, which is a lot. Um, and so we say thank you, Maddie, and we also say congratulations on your Hall of Fame uh, being inducted into that. So. Thank you. And Brian, you have something? Yeah, on the 23rd of September, after the 11.30 Mass at Sacred Heart Cafeteria, they're going to have uh, pastries and coffee and stuff for Maddie. So the public's invited. Thank you. All right, uh, discussion on that is next on the agenda. Um, the only thing that I have, and anybody, anyone can bring what they would like up, but uh, I would like permission for the... Uh, the clerk to uh, go out for an RFP on a grant writer. Um, there's a lot of grants sitting on my desk uh, and there's also a lot of paperwork from grants that uh, we do have but paperwork still needs to be done. Getting a grant, when you see the headline, we, we received $190,000 for sidewalks, we received $80,000 for other sidewalks, we received different other amounts of money which we do very well and I'm very proud of that. Uh, is more than the headline of how much money um, that we received. Uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of paperwork uh, that goes with this, even the smallest grant. So you have to do a tremendous amount of work, paperwork to get, to put in for the grant, and then after you you are awarded, there's additional paperwork. And, um, and so we need someone to help us with that. Uh, so if the board could, uh, get permission for an RFP to go out for a grant writer, it would be, a, I think, good. Motion. motion by Trustee Howard. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Ramos. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much. New business. Approved minutes that were done uh, at a regular meeting on the 20th of August, 2018. Motion by Trustee Murphy. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Livesey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much. Next we have to revise a seeker ne uh, negative decoration. Um, this was a grant uh, for the wastewater treatment plant, uh, but there were some uh, comments, uh, actually corrections that had to be made that our attorney found. And so you have the correct one in front of you, but it, um, it needs my signature, uh, Gina? No, just board approval for this particular one that's been corrected, the negative decoration. Okay, uh, you have that before you. If you wanna take a moment to, uh, to read it and if there's any questions. Yeah. I second that. All right. Motion by Trustee Murphy, second by Trustee Ramos to approve the revised seeker decor negative decoration for the wastewater treatment plant. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, would you like a copy after Gina or um, Mary Jane? Okay. I'll have it here and give it to you.
Uh, next on the agenda is to designate uh, our deputy clerk Anna Sierra and our village clerk Regina Taylor. They're authorized uh, for the entity administrator for SAM, Systems for Award Management Registration. We've always done this. Anna has been this person, uh, but they, the federal government now wants, it's for grants, and now the federal government wants it in a letter form that Anna Sierra and Regina Taylor are the folks, are the administrators. It's nothing different than what's been done in the past, except now, again, they want it in writing. You see here, it's, is it highlighted on yours? Uh, number eight, you must prepare a notarized letter designating the authorized entity administrator using the instructions. So, uh, motion by Trustee Howard, is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Livesey, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Next, we have a resolution for the Royal Water Transmission Line Project. Whereas the Village Board of the Village of Holland Falls proposes to install a new 18 ductile iron raw water transmission line from Bog Meadow Dam and Jim's Pond to the water filtration plant. Be it resolved that the Village Engineer is authorized to update the New York State Water Infrastructure Grant, the DWRSF grant application, and submit to the New York State Department of Health and the New York State Environmental Facilities Corp. And be it further resolved that the mayor, Joseph E. D'Anafio, is authorized to sign all documents in accordance with the grant requirements, including, but not limited to, the WBE, the MBE, and the EEO, by, by American Iron, Ironworks, Davis-Bacon, etc. We've talked about this pretty much, and uh, this, will, uh, this has to be done by the 7th of, uh, of September, so we're on the doorstep of that date. But tonight, it'll go out tomorrow, and uh, we'll take it from there. So in essence, what this is, 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 uh, putting, the is putting the raw water that comes down from the mountain, all gravity fed, we have the best system in the world. Uh, we really do, an engineer couldn't design it any better. And uh, put it in a, in a pipe to protect it, i.e. from oil spills, i.e. from the golf course, i.e. from any other contaminants that might take place. Now. I, John, I look at you because you're helping here, and, and I just want you to know there's still a lot of questions and and other items to take care of. So, all right, I just want you to know that. Okay. May I have a mo any uh, discussion or a motion? I make well, a motion. Okay, a, a motion yeah. by Trustee Livesey. Discussion on the motion. Um, just so everybody knows, uh, I have concerns, environmental concerns about the pipe itself um, and the amount of water that we're still going to be putting into the brook um, and I'm sure those will get answered. Yeah. I understand that this is moving the grant process forward and I will ask those detailed questions should we get that and proceed with the pipe. But I have a lot of concerns about the, the, the brook, it's a trout brook um, and I'm sure the DEC will at that point in time also. That's all I got. And uh, Jim, uh, uh, we all have the we all have questions, and getting ready for tonight. Here's a, a slew of questions that I have, and so uh, we'll sit down with those that are involved and get these answered. And sometimes a short answer is better than a long one. I'll sec I'll second the motion. You understand what I'm saying? I'll second the motion by Trustee. Okay, so we have a, a, a second by Trustee Ramis. May I have roll call? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Next on the agenda, I would like to uh, have permission to put an ad in the paper for a full-time mechanic for the Village of Holland Falls. I'll make a motion. Motion by Trustee Howard. Is there a second? I'll second. Seconded by Trustee Murphy. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. I'm sorry. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you so much. We have a request on the agenda to hold senior stretching class. 
which is you do it in you, you do it in a chair. I'm told. Uh, they would like to. The, uh, this person would like to hold these classes. Right now, it looks like a Tuesday and a Thursday, 8:30 to 9:30 in the morning at the senior center, uh, the old KSC building. Um, a motion would be appropriate for to allow her to do this. Just a quick yes. Question. The individual who is conducting this class, she's doing it for free? Yes. Well, um, I, I think it sounds like a great opportunity. Um, do instructors of, of this, like a, a yoga class, need any particular insurance? <laughs> Good question. I think what you're going to have is... If she, she, number one, she has to be certified. Right, that's what I'm saying. But what I mean, though, is um, there may be a waiver that people will sign. Oh, I, I, to hold any anyone harmless. Right. I hope she has it. Okay, so if if I could have a motion to um, allow this, but there'll be a follow-up tomorrow and the next day with her, about such an, an animal that you talked about mm -hmm. and her being certified. That's so it won't happen until those kinds of things are answered. I have it right here. But it, it does sound like a worthwhile class and I hope it works out. Isn't that a conflict with the audience? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't do that from the audience. I, I, I can't do it. Uh, but I'll answer your question anyway. Is it a conflict? You mean the same time? Yeah. No. Uh, I, inqu I inquired, I was told no, but it's not to worry because she'll, if that is in fact the date and time, then this will change. Yeah. Because yoga is there. I mean, yoga is there. We, you know, yoga, let yoga take place as it has been. I'm not sure how many people are even going to yoga. Um, I haven't seen you there. Uh, but I will check. But it won't take, it, if there's a conflict of this person who came in second will change, okay? Okay, so that's the, we did this, did we vote? No, not yet. no. okay, so do we have a motion? motion? We do. Motion by Charlie, seconded by Merv, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. So, um, Mrs. Taylor, uh, that was approved pending couple of questions okay okay next on the agenda is curb your dog signs in municipal lot number five I would like to ask the board for a motion to table so motion. Moved. motion by Elwood. Mr. Howard seconded by Charlie all in favor Aye. Aye. opposed motion carried all right next we have general water and sewer fund transfers this is a, an annual thing the end of the month end of the fiscal year which was May 31 uh, and these are being asked by our treasurer. You have that, you have the document in front of you. Uh, there's quite a bit of transfers. Uh, So the treasurer is asking to increase the village attorney's uh, contingent line $10,367.79. Buildings $4,316.22. Technical support $5,677.08. Central communications $55,909.46. Central communications salary overtime $6,622.65. Police. Overtime nineteen thousand four hundred and forty dollars and sixty eight cents. Registrar eight hundred and ninety two dollars. Snow removal seven thousand nine hundred and forty five dollars and fourteen cents. Street lighting three thousand nine hundred and four dollars and ninety one cents. Social security five thousand five hundred and eighty four dollars and forty four cents. Health insurance twenty five thousand two hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety four cents. He would like to decrease snow removal salary over time $7,945.14. He would like to decrease police salary $52,127.16.
Police contingent, $8,803.86. Central Communications Equipment, $4,432.14. Central Communication Contingent, $2,092.74. Decrease Engineering, $14,301.62. Unallocated insurance, $12,024.69. Contingency, $44,162.96. Increase, property tax, $408.74. Pardon? I'm in the water. Oh, I was going to do them all, all, I was going to do them all, Gina, but... Oh, you want me to do them separate? Okay, if I could have a motion to do the increases and the decreases that I read. Motion, motion by Trustee Howard. Is there a second? Second. Second by, by Trustee Ramis. Okay, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Roll call. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. The water fund increase property tax four hundred and eight dollars and seventy four cents. Water administration two thousand two hundred and forty four dollars and sixty eight cents. Purification salary eight thousand two hundred and five dollars and sixty cents. Transmission and distribution salary three three thousand three hundred and sixty dollars and sixty seven cents. Distribution salary overtime four thousand seven hundred and sixty five dollars twenty seven cents. Trans transmission distribution. Contingent twelve thousand twenty six dollars forty nine cents. Social Security eight hundred eighty seven dollars and thirty four cents. Health insurance one thousand two hundred eight dollars and ninety six cents. And two thousand and nine bond ish interest seven dollars and twenty five cents. Uh, that's a decrease an increase of thirty three thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars. He would like to decrease contingent by the same amount thirty three thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars. In no sense. May I have a motion? Motions. Any questions? Are there any questions? Okay. I'm sorry, Charlie. Uh, motion to uh, accept the water fund budget transfers. Is there a second? I'll say. Seconded by Trustee uh, Livesey. May I have roll call? Aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, the last one is the sewer fund. Increase the sewer administration, $2,151.08. Sanitation sewer, $19,266.30. Sewer plant overtime, $8,119.39. Sewer plant contingent, $35,205.94. Hospital and medical, $2,858.22. Equals $67,693. And if we could have a decrease in the contingency of the same amount, 67693 67, cents. I'll make the motion that we do the budget transfers for the sewer fund. Is there a second? Second. Second. By Trustee Howard. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you so much. Okay, next we have a property maintenance. Uh, seems like every two weeks, although the list today is short. It's uh, 6 Cooks Lane. Is there anyone? We'll open the public hearing at 7.30 on 6 Cooks Lane. Is there anyone here? Is the owner or someone representing 6 Cooks Lane? Let the record show there isn't. This is a repeater. High grass. Whereas a long-standing violation of the Village Property Maintenance Law, Chapter 170 of the Village of Holland Falls, has existed at 6 Cooks Lane. Designated Tax Map 104-8-10. Whereas the property owner or owners have been given due notice of said violations and have been directed to correct the violations. And whereas the property owner or owners were given due notice of public hearing to be held by the Board of Trustees on September the 4th, 2018 at 7 p.m. to determine whether the violations have been properly remedied and whether to order that corrective action be undertaken by the village to correct said violations of the property owner's costs and expense and to bill said costs and expense to the property owner 
and to levy same against the property. And whereas the public hearing was held by the Board of Trustees, and whereas the owner or owners did not appear, and whereas the owner or owners have not taken steps to correct the violations, and the violations still exist, and whereas the Board of Trustees is authorized pursuant to Section 170-6 of the Property Maintenance Law to authorize that the village undertake to remedy such violations at the property owner's cost and expense. Now therefore, be it resolved that the village, its contractors or agents shall enter upon the property to correct the violations and that all costs incurred by the village, including administrative, legal, and corrective costs be charged to the property owner and such charge shall be added to the tax bill of the property owner if not paid within 30 days of notification to the last known address of the property owner as shown on the village tax records. Questions or you, motion? You know, when we look at these, just so you folks out there realize this, so this property owner doesn't live around here. He's actually, well, I won't mention, but he doesn't live around here. But I think it's amazing, like on some of these buildings, apartment buildings, or if they're just a rented house, why the tenants, I mean, it's got to bother the tenant there to drive into a place that they're renting, they're paying money there, and the place looks sloppy and messy and everything else. It just amazes me that these landlords are ignoring the fact that they have tenants paying a rent, and part of that rent has to be going to the appearance of where you're living, because that's all part of it. Where that is even being ignored, it's not just a property, but to me when I look at these and I see a landlord that's not living here in this community or anything else like that, he's even ignoring the fact of the, the wellness of his tenants that are living there. And, and that's troublesome. It, it really is, you know, when you look at this like that. Um, maybe more tenants need to voice. All right, you have a uh, resolution. Uh, if I could have a motion. I'll make a motion. Motion by Trustee Livesey. Is there a second? Second. By Trustee Murphy. May I have roll call? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Now, this is the second offense, right? At least. It, well, yeah, probably more. No, and we, so We had agreed that we charge more money if it goes again. What, what we're doing, uh, Mr. Howard, is uh, that will be uh, done through a local law, uh, which will come before us very soon. Through okay. a lease. And we're going to increase the second violation, the third violation, right. the fourth violation. Yep. Uh, there's currently an opportunity to, for a second violation, it's up to $800, but you have to go through the justice court. I think what the mayor is talking about is a more clean cut we increase the yeah. the penalty and it doesn't go to the court. Yes. But you, and you know, like I said before, though, like for somebody like this that has, this is maybe his fourth, third or fourth, third or fourth time, it makes you wonder now, what does it look like inside this place? <laughs> okay, we can't go there, but no, we can't I go there. You. But you know what I mean? I agree with you. You know what I mean? I just, I do know what you mean because you can tell a lot about a house by the outside. So. Just to make reference, uh, you all don't have it on yours, but there were two other notices that did correct their violations. Okay, so that's a good thing. So, this board, this board, uh, while we know that there's issues out there and we're addressing the issues, whether it's drugs, whether it's crime, uh, whether it's property maintenance, uh, we're honoring people, we're, we're being positive. So, here's some pictures, and we're going to do this often. Here's some pictures of some nice homes, because everything is not property maintenance. And I'll turn this around in a second, guys, so you can see. Mr. Ramis, thank you for suggesting this, and we're going to do it often. Yes. Um, I suppose I'll get in trouble someday from someone who doesn't want their house control their house. So we all know this one's on Mountain Avenue. Uh, this one's on Cousins Avenue. This was this was this went for sale and sold very quick. This is on Schneider Avenue. This is on Browns Hill, otherwise known as Drew. Actually, that was Judge Brown's house. 
this is uh, on Kleitz. Uh, this is on Mountain Avenue, just done. Lilies of the Valley. I don't say anything about Lilies of the Valley. Everyone knows what she does. And this is my granddaughter. <laughs> I just thought, you know, thank you. <laughs> Show this one. <laughs> anyway, we thank these people. And there's many more. We're going to have more. Every meeting, we're going to have some. So, uh, just show the board and then I'll turn around. But this is what we took. You know, you can go on any street. You know, go on Perry Avenue. Make a, make a, make a turn up Perry Avenue. It's one way going up. Look to the right. You have three or four houses there in a row. I don't know. It would be very hard for the Garden Club to decide which one should have Garden of the Month because they're beautiful. There's a whole stretch there. You know, so there's a lot of good out there, not just those ugly property maintenance laws. So thank you to these folks, and there'll be more pictures. Okay. So getting to the bottom here, we have bills and claims, $89,839.37. The bills have been reviewed downstairs before we came up. May I have a motion? Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, motion to pay all bills in claim. Motion by Trustee Murphy. Is there a second? Second. Then by Trustee Ramos. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Going back to the grant writer uh, or grants, as I said, come to my desk. Here's two that I received today, both water grants. Two different ones, millions. We can get them. We're going to get them. Let me go down this pretty quick here. I have two proclamations. The Village of Holland Falls, Office of the Mayor, Proclamation, Buffalo Soldiers Association, West Point, New York. Their annual remembrance ceremony, which was on September 2, two days ago, 2018. Whereas the Buffalo Soldiers Association of West Point continues to have a mission to acknowledge, honor, promote, preserve the history and the contributions of the Buffalo Soldiers and military persons that served the USA. And whereas the Buffalo Soldiers have justly received worldwide acclaim with a commemorative postage stamp, historical reenactments, recognition by the Smithsonian Institution, Buffalo Soldiers Field and, Memor and Memorial Rock, and a 1997 movie. And whereas the Buffalo Soldiers fought with bravery and dedication in several military campaigns, and whereas several members of the Buffalo Soldiers reside here in Highland Falls, with several and interact with several community groups. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Mayor Joseph E. D'Anafio, and, and the Village of Highland Falls do proclaim September 2, 2018 as Buffalo Soldiers Recognition Day and encourage residents to thank those who serve and give back to their communities and the world. Now this was given to them for their event that they held, what they call the Rock, just inside Buffalo Soldiers Field. Second resolution by the Village of Holland Falls honoring Cora Lee Matthews upon the occasion of her 100th birthday on the 10th of September 2018. Whereas the quality and the richness of life in the community of Holland Falls is enriched and sustained through the contributions of those individuals who long, whose long and purposeful lives personify the values of family, faith, citizenship. And whereas the citizens of such worthy purpose is Cora Lee Matthews, an exceptional lady whose zest for life and concern for others has enriched and inspired the lives of her family and friends. And whereas the family and friends of Cora Lee Matthews will gather to extend their praise and appreciation, honoring this distinguished lady who has enriched the lives of her family and friends through her joyous and sincere love for others and her charm and wisdom, which comes only from the fullness of years, and be it resolved that a copy of this resolution be transmitted to Cora Lee Matthews, and witness thereof I have hereunto set the hand and cause to affix the official seal of the Village of Holland Falls, the County of Orange, and the State of New York on the 10th day of September 2018. Uh, I have here a West Point golf course outing on September the 24th. I'll make copies of this. It'll be downstairs in the lobby. Um, 
uh, it's a tournament proceeds go to Soldier Strong. Do you know that outfit? They do a lot of good work. Soldier Strong, they, they in particular help those that have amputees and missing limbs and et cetera, et cetera. So um, it's a worthy cause uh, that's going to be held at the West Point, West Point Golf Course on September 24th. Now, I gave the board uh, some, a document. I might have put it even in a paper clip a few days ago. So it has fees. This is work that our attorney has done. It has fees. It has uh, changing a, uh, the dwelling, uh, the, the square footage for one, two, and three bedrooms. Um, I would like to put some of this on, if not all of it, on the agenda for the next meeting. So please, there's three different things here, three different issues. So that's it. So please review, and we can so we can talk about it at the next meeting. Okay, we need to do it or not. There's some issues by the Depart county Department of Health with the pool over at Rope Park, but these issues uh, were town issues uh, um, of what's required of the town. Uh, this was sent to the town, so I have to think that maybe they're going to take care of it. And um, um, Richard, I, if you don't mind, I'd like to give this to you. Okay. Maybe you can follow up, or I, Gina sent it down there. Merv, you'll like this. Uh, Jimmy, you'll you'll really like it. Uh, September one. Saturday passed for the month of September is Canadian goose season opens we said a rope park <laughs> uh, in New York State September goose hunting season Canadian goose. you gotta make sure they're Canadian <laughs> you got ask for some ID or something <laughs> you know the geese over here were born at Rowe Park. <laughs> they're residents. They're, they're residents. They have full... What is this? What was that cartoon where the guy would run around with a... With a... Daffy Who said that? Who said Elmer Fudd? Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd. I could see Brian... I don't, I don't hurt animals. <laughs> Thank you. That's two of us, Jimmy. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Peace are an animals. Dear Abby. Dear birds. Uh, I'd like to promote the Orange County Chamber, uh, who's also having a golf outing. Um, I'll put this downstairs also. What's the date of the one I told you? Oh, it's the same date. So you have two golf outings, one at West Point uh, and one in Campbell Hall, New York, not that far from here. And so uh, I promote this because the proceeds go towards educating young children in Head Start, providing housing for seniors, veterans, victims of domestic violence, uh, those living with HIV AIDS, and many other things. So this is a very worthwhile golf outing. Um, John, I expect to see you out there. It's the 24th of September. Okay? Promoted by, uh, given out by the Orange County uh, Chamber, which is a good organization also. Okay. Mr. Howard. Okay, I'm going to do it on the police. We had uh, 25 arrests. We had three felonies that dealt with drugs and guns. And uh, they spent some time with us here. And then they were sent to uh, jail. We, we have 112 summons, and our revenue for the month was $5,788. Thank you, sir. 
the uh, center which has moved from across the street next to Dunkin Donuts down to where Dr. Nuaz was next to Warden Hicks will be celebrating their fourth year anniversary so that needs to be brought up uh, as a thank you and yeah. we commemorate that um, I think it was July was the fourth it was four years yeah. and so on September 22 is it yep yeah. open house 11 from to 11 to 2 so we ask you to attend there and there might be something for you to do you could join help out Merv. well you got a couple things um as we know through main street here we got a lot of businesses that are going to be newly opening and i hope a lot of the residents here support them um we also got the first army game coming up soon here which is a great saturday. thing saturday. on saturday yeah. right so go army on that there and I say this at pretty much all my board meetings, and I'll be saying it again because school's opening, and we got to remember the cars out there got to slow down. Please, if you know of a car that flies around your neighborhood, call the police department. Let them know the plate number. Let them know who's behind the wheel. We should got to be careful with these cars out there. That's it. Uh, Joe, on uh, Tuesday, September 11th at 6.30, You'll be invited to the 9-11 Gardens for our service. Thank you. For lack of a better word. Thank you. Okay. And through the board here, you know, thank you to everybody for getting on something up on 9-W because the building's down. The building's down. The building's down. Corner Echo Motel is down. Mm -hmm. So much more work to be done, but that's a start. It's down. Charlie? Um, well, I did want to point out that they were ahead of schedule. They were going to do the demo from Careful, today Charlie. through the 7th. Um, they're wrapping it up. Uh, I guess the next thing that we should hope to see is uh, some fencing to secure the site. Uh, the only other thing that I, I wanted to point out, people did not see it in the newspaper in Cornwall, right up the road. Um, some senior citizens were approached by someone selling expensive TVs out of the back of their vehicle. Um, one gentleman spent $800 on two TVs only to find after the fellow left that some inconsequential sound components were in the boxes. Total value was under $200. Um, if someone approaches you, A, they're peddling and they need to be licensed, please call the police and let them know because in all likelihood it is a scam. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So just be on guard. Go to Walmart. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that's it, although I, I would like to comment very briefly about um, the grant writer. Um, I've always had mixed feelings about hiring people to write grants for municipalities. Um, we usually do the best job ourselves, but if we have someone from the community that could step forward and answer the RFP, that probably would be the best of all possible worlds. Um, and I'm sure the rest of the board would be happy to help that individual. Some of us have had experience on the other side when we've received the grant proposals. Um, so there's a real art to it. And as we all know, with um, the consolidated funding application, we have, because of the census, been unable to apply for a lot of grants. So hopefully, we have a new day and we'll be able to get some that we've missed out on in the past. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Jim? Yeah. Um, Orange and Rockland has put in a few LED lights throughout the village. I'm sure nobody has even noticed them yet. If they have, they haven't mentioned it. Um, they do that for free. It doesn't cost us a dime. Uh, but it does lower our electric bill. Uh, there's more to come. I been uh, having correspondence with them. Uh, we are in their 2% program. Uh, they, they are going to uh, be coming down Main Street. They're going to start from the gate at West Point, uh, and we're going to try to do Main Street <clears throat> all the way through, and then we'll work our way up. But uh, it's going to be a process. Uh, I was informed that 
that lighting is like art. Some people like it, some people don't. But uh, we will get used to it. I mean, we did get used to uh, the lights that are out there now. So they're working on that. Um, and like I said, it's not going to cost us anything. And uh, just to uh, reiterate about the houses, uh, Mr. Mayor, two of those houses were recently bought by a local resident. Uh, and if you've seen a before and after picture, you would be shocked at how much work that that person put into that. Um, and I want to thank that person. Thank That's what you. I got. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thanks, everyone. Um, public comment. Yes. <laughs> Ramus, if anybody wants to check out LED lights, Wayne Green just had all of theirs done. Take a ride down when it gets dark. Every single one of them. Do you, do you, do you, good or bad comments from the residents? Well, all I can say is I feel safer. Good. You can actually see a little bit better. They seem to like spread it out more. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. Great. But, um, uh, Mayor D'Onofrio, you're talking about the houses, the good things that go on here, the police, so on and so forth. Um, a shout out to Char uh, Sergeant Torpy. He responded quickly when a call went in about people using drugs, and he did, in fact, arrest them. Um, and I personally think he did an excellent job. Um, I have a few questions. Um, wastewater treatment plant um, obviously the fire there that is in the news um, I'm asking whether or not bids estimates were um, given to the village and if that's how it was chosen for whoever was doing the work when the fire was done and if that person or that contractor did in fact have insurance or if this claim is going to be put through the village insurance uh, th this is public comment. I know. So, is if okay, I, I, so I, I, my, your, I appreciate your comment. Okay, so my next comment is the same thing with the Village Police Department and all the renovations that went on there. Were bids and estimates in fact submitted? And did that contractor individual have insurance? Um, I think that you, uh, again, it, it's public comment, so I appreciate your comment. I also believe you submitted a FOIL request. I did. Which, well, that's fine. I and did. that you'll you'll whatever it is you're entitled to from the FOIL request you will receive I know but I want the public to know that somebody is actually asking the questions that everybody's talking about God no one okay go ahead but it's public comment not my comment okay um, when can we expect the uh, consolidation committee to be formed and will it consist of both village and town people um, is there a reason why the village does in fact not have an ethics committee um, and last but not least, if this is a public village board meeting um, and we are allowed to make public comment, in what forum are people allowed to ask questions, voice their concerns, have their question answered, are their concerns addressed? If not here, what forum is that? Well, I, I really, in my memory tells me, starting from today back, we're back, uh, it's actually been done here or it can be done individually it can be done through foil requests there's a host of avenues that can be used to gain rightful information that the public should have but there is no public forum for it I don't this, this, this is public comment that's why you know, I'm like I make you. comments. Everyone up here was given a chance to make, say whatever they would like, and now it's your turn. That's why I'm saying, what is what would be the public forum for people to actually have their questions answered or their concerns addressed? Well, I, I just I, I think I just answered that. There's several. Uh, Again, those are private things. Foy Press, I get that. Um, you can email obviously anybody on the board you want to, or approach them on the street, which personally, whatever. Um, but well, I, 
what I'm asking is there a public forum for people to actually have because a lot of people have the same questions well I wish that they would come forward because yeah you and me both out of the questions that you asked tonight I'm kind of like on Main Street 90% of my life uh, I haven't heard any of these but that's me you know that's me it's not you apparently they're approaching you yeah and I appreciate I'm glad they are uh, well, that makes one of us. Uh, no, two of us. You and I. No, I'm not glad that they're approaching me. You're not? No. Huh. Uh, I will tell you, uh, uh, on the renovations of the police department, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Does anyone up here know? The no. Air you, the air conditioner? Oh, a countertop replacement and you know, a few things like that that I know were done. Were they done by an outside contractor or in-house? Um, actually, I believe they were done by uh, Officer Bailey. Oh, in-house. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking the question. I, I don't. And that's why. You, I, if you I know who did it, it I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you know who did it and you know what was done, what is the question? I want to know if this was something that estimates were submitted for, or bids, not, and if, or if insurance was. Not if it. Insurance. Yes, if no. you have somebody working on something in the village, they do in fact have to provide insurance. Uh, 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 Ma'am, this renovations, uh, as you're talking, as no, re the renovations that were done at the police department were done in house. I, I personally, for me, I'm assuming also the board. I'm glad that we have the talent next door, that folks volunteer, with meaning they don't get extra pay. They to do the renovations. I think they were extreme. The ones you mentioned, and I think any other ones, are minor. So, so I, that's the answer to that. As far as the wastewater treatment plant, uh, that's in the, uh, in, uh, the village's insurance hands. Uh, they've been here, several people have been here many days. And uh, I can tell you, along with the board, that the village of Holland Falls will be made whole. That I can tell you. It can be made, it will be made whole. Uh, the taxpayers are covered. You can, you can go to sleep tonight and rest on that one. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you for your questions. Anyone else? Yes. I'd like to a plug for the High Point Utility. We lost a board member. Uh, we're the group of mostly engineers, uh, but we lost one of our guys from Connecticut who has to travel quite a ways. And who also handled the website. We could use a volunteer, anybody that uh, we meet once a month, and uh, we've got our big projects, uh, as always, are trying to get as much value out of West Point while they're privatizing all their utilities. And uh, the two big things we're trying to do now is uh, get them to rebuild our whole wastewater plant for $70 million uh, and give us some money in doing that and maybe get some land back in swapping. That's the biggest thing we're working on. I'm working on a paper now. The last colonel was helpful. He did some of the things, but we need to follow through. We've got a new colonel who came to this board meeting, I think last time, Colonel Marson. He looks like a good man uh, from West Virginia, kind of a country boy, and. Uh, We've met him, we're going to talk to him again soon. The other thing we're trying to do is a microgrid where we combine, to some extent, uh, our electrical systems and they build a, a solar project on West Point and convert that we did get them to change the fix in the, the plant, the uh, steam plant, the central plant, to be uh, a power plant as well. While they're making steam, they can also make power, which is what they used to do when I was a cadet, <clears throat> which was a thousand years ago. But uh, they gave it up and, and buy everything from O&R. That means when O&R goes down, we go down, which we did recently. <laughs> so we're trying to, we think the future is microgrids and we're, we've educated, we took the colonel down to Princeton and he supported it, but he didn't follow through completely. So we're trying to pick that up again now. Those are our two big projects along with the water protection that we just talked about. So uh, anybody that's interested in these things, please, uh, we meet the, uh, the second Tuesday of each month. And we used to meet at the library. Right now we're meeting down at uh, the uh, 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 Thayer Gate, Thayer Gate Tavern. <laughs> yeah, 
Southgate. Southgate, I'm sorry. Southgate, Southgate Tavern. Uh, and we uh, we'd love to have you there. It's about, uh, let's see, we meet about 6.30, so uh, we'll be there next week. Anybody just get a hold of me and be, be, be glad to see you. Thank you. John, uh, and I want to point out that I think you made reference in the beginning of what you had to say that one of the members resigned. Yeah, he was and traveling too far. Oh, and then Mike, and Mike, yeah, Mike I, so I want to say that yeah. uh, 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 your engineer, uh, right. um, Mike, Colosico. Mike Colosico, resigned from the High Point Utility, but um, I know talent when I see it, so I picked him right up, not physically, and he is now my consultant along with the boards uh, at no cost. I want to make that yeah. perfectly clear, at no cost. So Mike and I will meet many times and discuss. And he, he'll be coming to our meeting. Yes. Us, so he represents we, we won't me. lose him, in other words. <coughs> he represents me. <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. Anything else? Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, Olga Anderson, Town Falls resident. Um, I wanted to make a couple of comments. Number one, I was very pleased to hear at the last board meeting that uh, we're moving ahead here in the village with the climate, uh, the clean energy community program. Um, that's a really awesome uh, program, and uh, there's like I believe ten points that you have to uh, get through to get certification. Well, so well, we, we, there's four areas, four that you have to comply with. Uh, such as the electric uh, charging station, and we have completed three. So I'm working with them to complete number four. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. So I, I hope we continue with that. It's a we progressive uh, move, and it uh, takes us more on the path to sustainability, which I think we all want to see. Um, I also wanted to comment about um, consolidation. Uh, last At the last meeting, I heard that... Um, the only way to save money is to cut services. And I just wanted to point out that I believe that um, uh, anybody who is uh, really looking for consolidation to go forward is not interested in having essential services cut. Um, I would propose that there's a way to save money by eliminating redundancy by uh, optimization, by uh, squeezing out additional efficiencies. I think we've heard uh, a couple of uh, areas tonight where there are savings that have come about through certain initiatives, and I, I, I think that that will also be uh, the case when we look further into consolidation. And my final comment is um, I, I'm so glad to hear that the consultant has re-emerged and that we're moving ahead with them. Um, and I think one of the things that was uh, inherent in the last go-round with the study was uh, the development um, of a reorganization study committee, which I think it's essential for, to uh, reconstitute that committee to have it be sort of well, bipartisan or um, uh, independent thinking uh, committee to uh, uh, be uh, a point of contact with the consulting firm to move this ahead. Thank you. Uh, uh, the only comment I want to make is that uh, the person, the person who said the only way to have savings in consolidation was in services is the is the uh, gentleman that's doing our study from Rabat. I think I said that at the last meeting, and I just want to iterate that again. Is there anything further? Yes. At the Allward Village, uh, you mentioned something about snow removal, which I wish we were doing today because the weather's killing me. Oh, and that oh yes, I do. I'm the only person in this village who hopes well, for you're snow. Well, from Maine. Uh, Maine family, yeah. Yeah. But in speaking of snow removal, and I think. We talked about snow removal of private property, especially in the school zone. And as, as I said before, I don't want children at risk, but I want private property owners to do their own snow removal. And perhaps instead of just doing it automatically, and, and uh, Mr. Livesey has spoken about the fact that 
when the state plows or the big plows come through, it's almost impossible to do those sidewalks. But so is my sidewalk, and I manage to do it or I pay a kid to do it. I would like to see letters go out reminding people. It might be cheaper and say, look, if there's a snowstorm, get out early and do something. If they can't do it and they're property owners, maybe they can do what I do, pay somebody. But between that and the fact that um, another DPW type issue is the street sweeper that goes up the middle of the street. There's very little debris in the middle of the street. Debris is at the curb. And unless we have a system where there's like an alternate street parking so that the sweeper can get to the curb, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of the personnel. It's a waste of the machine use. So there, there's two, maybe it's minor savings, but it's coming out of taxpayers' money, and taxpayers' money is getting to be ridiculous here. I, I, I just want to mention something. For anybody out there in TV land that lives along Mountain Avenue, the problem with Mountain Avenue is, I, no, let me just yeah. say, the problem is, is when you have a snowstorm on Mountain Avenue, if you live on Mountain Avenue, and you get out there, say, 10 o'clock at night, okay, and you shovel your sidewalk, and then they come back, and you salt it all out there, which yeah. I've been there, yeah. where I live for 20 years, and you salt it, and you look at it and say, wow, I did a good job on this. Yeah. Around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, that's when the state comes by. Yes. And what happens is, is when they throw that snow, it's all ice and it's the melted salt and everything else, and it lays on there. I, so when it I when it comes time, yep. when it comes time for the morning part, right. that's when it's hard as a rock out there. So and the DPW takes a look at this, and there's just there's just no chance to be able to do this. It's not like regular puffy snow anymore. I, I know because and, and they play they plow curb to curb on Church Street yeah. and we get it all and sometimes yeah. it's three feet of the road snow. But but there are definitely those out it, there that do not plow their sidewalks out there and that's for sure. Yeah. Well it's just yeah. I know it's a stupid issue to some people, but yeah. we're paying for that and nobody's paying for mine. If you if yeah. this if the village would like to do mine, that would be great. I'll save the twenty dollars I give the kid next door. Um, I think um, just coming back from a vacation to the West, we were in Vancouver, British Columbia. Extremely clean, friendly place. Um, I might also suggest that in, in, with this in mind, these people have taken the time to do good things. Perhaps all the people on Main Street, they could sweep their own streets in front of the, I know a lot of people do. There are some that don't and maintain their own curb line and make it a much more presentable main street. And that's an easy thing to do because most of these shopkeepers, what is it, 20 feet maybe? So you could, you could sweep, you could pick up and make it more inviting to people coming through. We have some new businesses that are certainly going to bring some people in and that would make it that much more inviting. And my third note is Yes, consolidation. Uh, we need a committee and we need an unbiased committee so we can maybe get things moving and help the taxpayers with the burden we have here. It's too much and it's too much to listen to many people saying as soon as I retire I'm leaving. And I would also ask that all those people that stop people on the street, instead of stopping people on the street with a comment, come to the meeting and say something. Don't let rumor mill go. And a lot that would be a lot more efficient. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Jim DeSalvo, 20 Villa. I uh, just want to uh, raise a little caution. Uh, I think it's important that the board's looking into uh, consolidation or or service merging. Uh, I just again raise a little caution. Look to our brothers and sisters uh, in the town of Monroe. Uh, what they're experiencing again. Um, in New York State, you cannot have a village inside of a village, but you can have as many villages as you can make in a town. So uh, I think it's as part of the learning process and the gathering of information process, uh, it only took 119 folks to create a new village over in the town of Monroe. And the town of Monroe thought that their issues, whatever they may be, big or small, were going to be solved with a new town of Palm Tree. 
and I think things have changed over there. The atmosphere has changed over there, and uh, I think people need to understand how that works. I think they need to understand um, what folks want when they're in a community and how fast things can change and how quickly they can go either up or downhill. So I think uh, during the process of the information gathering, as you're continuing to do, that has to be part of the conversation. Um, it's just a fact nowadays. Uh, so that's my comment on that. Thanks. Thank you. There's nothing further. I will ask for a motion to go into executive session on a personnel issue and union contracts. By motion. Motion by, did you, you said that? Motion by Trustee Livesey. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Murphy. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much.